Hello, my beautiful people. It's your favorite TV person now, Rochelle the Free Host. Today, we have a special guest with us. Her name is Ross Christian, a staff writer from Black Mafia Family, the famous South Peterson show based on a true story mm -hmm. of the Kingpins, Terry and Demetrius Flinney, to roast from Detroit, Michigan. Thank you. <laughs> so, do you prefer this Christian or Ross? You know, Ross is fine, and you know, I, it's an honor. You know, thank you for having me on your show. No problem, this is what I do. <laughs> so tell me, Ross, mm -hmm. how's the rights get of American Strike affecting U.S. wide for film and television? Oh, gosh. Uh, I've been bouncing from jobs, different ones, you know, just trying to pay the bills and take care of my son. Oh, head of her display. Oh, my gosh. It's just, you know. One minute you're making all this money, and then you know, Stars is a subscription based streamer. I have my Saw subscription on Hulu on Disney Plus. <laughs> you know, being one of the TV staff writers on one of the top shows, you know, and it's, it's, it's just it's crazy. And then you have to deal with the consequences of the strike, it just completely flipped my career upside down. Don't feel guilty. You do chapter in order to put food on the table and take care of the family. Aww. Right. So next question. Mm -hmm. What kind of future do you hold for all WGA writers and union performers? <laughs> Hire residuals for one. <laughs> you know, so I wrote two episodes on Madame Secretary for CBS for a season. Guess how much I got paid? How much, girl? Five dollars. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Exactly. <laughs> what can he do with five dollars? You know what? This entire thing is straight up bullshit and crazy. Uh -huh. And you think Hollywood is sort of rich and wealthy, that could be first from the truth. You know what? It's so many different levels in this industry. You know, you have and, and not all of them. You have the, the, the writers, the directors, the producers, the filmmakers, the actors. And not all of them are top tier. No, they're not. But with those on-screen big credits, mm -hmm. they should be. Right. So one final question. Mm -hmm. Do you like money? Of course. Who doesn't like money? <laughs> And in a moment, we're going to take a commercial break. Thank you. Next, we're going to have a young lady named is Terry Turner, who's a New York actress, talk about what she's doing for a living right now. It's just a strike occurred. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Miss Terry Turner to the show. Thank you. Thank you. So tell me, Terry, how's your day going thus far? Okay, I guess. You guess? Care to explain? Well, I'm just working this boring nine to five crap right now. Ooh. <sighs> Let's get some spice, people. What's wrong with nine to five, baby girl? I'm supposed to be in my trailer getting my hair and makeup done right now. But instead, I'm working at Chick fil A. Oh. Making frosties and chicken sandwiches. Hell yeah. <laughs> I go to that hellhole late every single day. And my manager is a real bitch. Oh. Tell us how the manager is a bitch. First of all, she's always making fun of me for being this fallen Hollywood star. And then my coworkers, who ain't never had a dollar a day in their life, always making fun of me because I'm working with them. Oh. People stay jealous, don't let it get to you. Plus, my apartment is a hellhole. It's nothing but rats and bed bugs everywhere. Ew. Ew. I'm so miserable. Hey, listen. You worry about survival right now, right? Not being a star. The industry is tough out here. Especially due to everything that's going on. Oh. Yes, even my car is about to get repossessed. What model do you drive? A 2020 Buick Escalade. 
That's a nice vehicle. Real nice. Well, Acton was just paying a lot of the bills. I was helping my mom. She was sick. I was helping pay for her treatments and her medication. Sick relative. Keep talking. She has Alzheimer's and hypertension. Oh no. Chick-fil-A definitely can pay for that. I know, and the crazy part is I have an audition tomorrow and I also have to go to an interview for a new job at 3 p.m. Stressful. You gotta work two your jobs to both, both yourself and your mother. I respect that. Yeah, that's really difficult. I'm just trying to get my the CEOs of every major production company make billions and billions of dollars in revenue. They do. But they can't pay the people who do all the footwork fairly while they're going to the islands on their private jets. Well, the people are selfish. <laughs> they shouldn't be if they can't pay the fuck up. It's heartbreaking. But although I have a lot of hopes for my future in acting, right now I'm really focused on my mother's health. I love you, Lisa. Aww. Oh, that's so sweet. I hope and pray that she gets better, too. I'll say something for you, my dear. Better spend the wise in here. Yeah. But still, when you're resident the nation later in Chick-fil-A, you don't want to burn bridges with them. You're right, because I could be broke. <laughs> I work wonders, don't I? Like I said before, I'm just as a famous TV personnel. I'm a giver with a big heart. Lame. Lame as fuck. Hello, my beautiful people. And now, we're gonna go with my most favorite time of the show, Rochelle's top five favorite stances. Yay! <laughs> this is with number one, snacks. <laughs> what the fuck made he my shit back? No, this is my shit now, bitch. Why the hell are you doing this season to singers, girl? Don't you have anything else better to do besides come on my show, my set, my stage to harass me? <laughs> Number two on my list. My favorite set for back of body works. You're the one dressed in this sexy red. <laughs> I'll say that too, bitch. Seriously, sleazy stinkers, girl? More serious than a heart attack? So be it, then. Number three on my list is footwear. My one out of Adidas. Give me, give me cunts. <laughs> you know what, girl? I'm working on my last numbers. Shut the fuck up, Rochelle. <laughs> Let's continue. With number four, toupees. Colgate Whitening. My favorite. Even with all the toothpaste in the world, your sinking ass breath was still free. <laughs> Say what? See yourself out now. Hell no, I won't go. Hell no, I won't go. go, go, go I'm gonna beat your ass. Go, 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 go. Let's my list is number five. It's for protection. A pocket knife. This is especially for the ladies. I'm gonna cut you like cello. Say what? Say yet again, cut ho. You know what? I had too many remarks from your ass today. I need you to be my stage right now. No. Security! Security! What the hell security will you need there? Oh, I forgot. I had to lay them off because they were in their jobs. Security my ass. Can you leave now, please? No. Come on, I'm trying not to be unprofessional. Come on now, I'm trying not to be unprofessional. Let me kick your ass. Go, 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 go,
gave us. Oh, she tried to take my Snickers bar. She did what? No, I didn't. Stop that motherfucking line. Took my Snickers bar. Rochelle, I thought you was better than that. Better? I don't go around harassing folks. Well, we gotta do something. Beat this bitch ass. Sound good? Attack! Oh, 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 oh.